Howdy folks, welcome back to CCTV. Uh, if you see the sunburn, just got back from spring break, we're here representing UVM, and we're gonna talk to you about a bunch of different things, but I think the commoditization of um, entities on social media is something we're really interested in. Um, how does that fit into either of your lives? So yeah, we really kind of uh, focused, uh, one aspect was gonna be you know art uh, and music, and how often, like, at least personally for me, uh, a lot of times when I'll be scrolling on any sort of uh, major platform like Instagram, Twitter, or well, not really Facebook anymore, but um, we'll find that I think a lot of artists struggle to find their niche in such a saturated landscape. Uh, and as well, they might find that they, you know, what their content that they make um, might not be, you know, exactly what they want just because yeah. of the uh, nature of how, you know, the algorithm functions mm -hmm. and how it's really hard to get a hit on such a it's big all platform about like the that. Algorithm, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel as, as an artist myself who, um, usually makes digital art or in that realm. Um, I the last thing I want to do is market myself, but I also want to show the world what I've created. And I think we're entering this new age where we're everything is so digitized um, and like so pre-picked in our media that I think it's hard to for an artist to kind of prioritize like marketing themselves or commodifying themselves, um, which is very different. But it definitely falls into so many different aspects, like sports, athletes, yeah. too. We're, we're headed into March Madness. It's a yeah. big time. Yeah, very exciting time, especially for sports fans. It's one of the biggest sporting events of the year. Um, I think it's kind of, talk about commodifying, like with athletes, it's like the opposite. Like you kind of want to put yourself out there to get like brand deals, money, and like promote yourself so you can like get drafted higher. Um, so I think it's kind of interesting with artists and like athletes. It's kind of like two different things. Yeah. How does how does music do you think play into that whole? Or as you as a listener, maybe not as a creator. I think it's super interesting um, because I think it has like a good and a bad side because I discovered so much like new music through Instagram Reels, for example. And then there's this one part of the song that gets picked up by the algorithm, yeah. and then everyone all of a sudden like knows the song, and it's super nice because you get to know like smaller bands um, but then on the other hand I think it also like affects how we listen to stuff and it's always about just getting the highlight and then I only listen to that part of the song most of the time and it's such a like different consuming music in a different way it's not like listening to the whole album from beginning to end but just one song one part yeah, I was sitting on the plane yesterday I don't know if you know the album Depression Cherry Beach House but Space Song is like so oversaturated in media and I like almost forgot that it was on the album because I always skip it because I just yeah. you hear it so much um, so yeah I, I, I think it's good for like another thing is like a struggling artist musician whatever like uh, they'll be able to get themselves out there but maybe that's not the the way they want to do it or maybe that is the way they want to do it but I think there's a line between making something for the love of the art or making something to make money. So for yourself, do you feel like you feel more restricted with when you're trying to like put something out there by, you know, whatever's popular? Or do you think that because it's such a, you know, open avenue that you feel like your creativity can be like more fostered in that kind of area? I think that comparison is often a losing battle, especially as an artist. Um, where you're seeing so many things and it's hard to convince yourself that you're doing something unique. Uh, so it, in that regard, one of the barriers for me making money off of something I create is that once that money starts paying the bills, then it's hard to um, you know, keep that spark for that creativity alive. But um, I don't know, there are just so many different avenues and realms, it's just, an interesting topic. Yeah, it brings more questions. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Camille and I'm here with... Brooke. And... I'm Logan. And today we're just going to be having a conversation about targeted ads that we see on social media. Um, so what targeted ads do you guys see on social media? Um, I, I use TikTok a lot um, 
And I, I don't know if TikTok thinks I have bad dental hygiene, but I always get these oil pulling ads like all the time. Um, so I don't know what they're trying to say about me, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually get. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like sometimes they, they know your hobbies a little too well. Um, I'm a runner and I also consume a lot of energy drinks. And for the last like six months, I want to say, I've never clicked on one, never searched for one, but I continually get these targeted um, cannabis infused energy drinks. Um, who knows why? I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> um, I use Instagram quite often and I get quite a few um, New York Times ads for all the New York Times games um, and they're all like always animated and they're always within like the stories on Instagram and they're really easy to click by. Um, how often do you guys see ads on Instagram or TikTok? Like all, I feel like it's like now it's like the majority of my content feels like it's an ad which is, mm -hmm. seems crazy. Yeah, we were having a discussion a little earlier about how now the ads aren't as obvious and they're kind of hidden within your feed and we spend so much time like scrolling through and we don't even notice when you're scrolling between stories that there's ads in between. We're kind of just desensitized to all of it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's multiple ads within that one story and so it's just easy to click through <laughs> and still not realize that you're seeing multiple ads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I feel like that's the worst feeling is like, you just start reading something just out of habit and then you like mm -hmm. five minutes later you realize it's an ad and I just feel scammed. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you um, guys, oh. <laughs> do you guys think there's a problem with targeted ads or do you mind? I think at one point it definitely freaked me out but now I'm just almost like desensitized to it like we were talking about. So I think it still does like creep me out sometimes when it's a very specific ad. Yeah, I feel like I like didn't I don't think about it much in like till we had this conversation, but like I think also just like how like social media evolved in general is like you're it's like way beyond just your social group. And it's so, like mm -hmm. and now it's like even beyond that, it's like into consumerism. So it's it's weird because I feel like instead of getting like entertaining content, it's like mostly just advertising. Yeah, and I feel like the ads are mostly stuff that we don't even really need necessarily. Like, oh mm -hmm. and especially on TikTok, they have this new like TikTok shop where each. Did we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and they're disguised as a video. You don't even know it's an ad, and then there's like a small little thing at the bottom that says like ad. Um, yeah. So. It's kind of hard to tell, and you kind of have to be aware of it. Is the, the it's hard, hard to tell thing. if it's sponsored content or just someone making it because yeah. they like it. Yeah, I feel yeah. like they're d they're definitely walking like fine lines with like the laws around advertising and definitely. like admitting that it's advertising. Yeah, yeah. It's scary to know that your phone is always listening to you, and since seeing the ads about stuff that you talked about. I'm oh, that's right. like it. It irks me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably all we have time for today. That's all we have time for today. Thank you for listening to um, our conversation about targeted ads on social media. Beware of your content. Could be a hidden ad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm your targeted ad, Trisha, and welcome back to That Bad Targeted Ad. Today, we got three contestants, all targeted ads. We got a uh, Pickle, a pickle kit ad, Spirited Airlines, and Cheap Ski Apparel. You're not supposed to know who is who, so let's meet our contestants. Hi. Hi. Which targeted ad, can you tell us a little bit of what targeted ad you are today? Well, I am, I'm super cheap. Let's start there. $26, are you a college student? Do you have no money? We can get you there. Anywhere, actually. Anywhere you want to be. 12 hour flight, 13 hour flight, 30 minute flight, and it all costs $26, but you only get one bag, you can't chew gum on the plane, and you may or may not have to take off your shoes. And there might be a little hamster wheel in the back that you're running the plane yourself. That's, that's darn right. Yeah, are you oh, a college yeah. student who's given up on their dreams of traveling and you don't have any money? This is your girl, she's gonna be stalking you like crazy. Let's meet the next contestant. Do you like to try new things? Are you always up for a little adventure? Do you like to eat fun foods? Do you maybe wanna be a mukbanger? Have you ever wanted to do that? <laughs> we have deals, five kits, 
all, you and your friends can try it. It's a great deal. Salty, sweet, crunchy, gooey. Everything you could want in your mouth. It's amazing. Man, I'm sold. Next up, we're gonna meet our last targeted ad, so start making your decisions on who you think they are. Again, we have Spirited Airlines, Pico Kits, and Bad UVM Apparel. Ski Apparel. We'll just rock with this mic. Um, <laughs> are you a UVM student that only came here because you like skiing? Probably, because that's just about everyone here. So, as the season comes to a close, um, the amazing season that we had, I think it's, uh, it's time where you're starting to forget about the pain of the money you spent on your season pass, and now you can spend some more money on new ski apparel. So when you're skiing down the park and you see all those people with the super baggy clothes that are four times too big, if you're like me, you're thinking, I need some of those. So I can get it for you, $12.99 plus a million shipping and handling, and it's all yours. You heard him, folks. If you didn't spend enough on the Icon Pass, he'll rob your bank account. All right, we got one 30 seconds left with the show, so now it's time to reveal who are our contestants. You guys, let's hold those signs up. <laughs> Did you guess? So I'm your targeted ad, Trisha. I'm talking to you guys about your bad targeted ads on that bad targeted ad. That's the show. Um, check us out next week when we have diet pills. What else we got? Bad targeted ads. Farmers markets. Farmers <laughs> markets. Tinder maybe, and some oh, diet pills. So check us out next week and signing off. That that's your targeted bad targeted ad, Trisha. Hey guys, welcome to our Burlington foodie chat. <laughs> um, so what do you guys like to eat for dinner? Well, especially in Burlington, mm -hmm. my favorite place is Daedalus Wine Bar. Oh. If you know, you know. It's the best place in all of the world. They do, oh God, they do <laughs> wine tastings every Thursday. They have charcuterie, they have fresh pasta, Ooh. their menu changes seasonally based on what's okay. fresh in the area. 10 out of 10 recommend. I might just Check have to out. try that place now. Yeah, I might have, have to go. To. Never been. Have to. Yeah, I've never been either. But so good. Do you guys have favorite restaurants or dinners? Well, for me personally, I love to cook a good curry. So when I don't oh. feel like cooking a good curry, yeah. I have to get it delivered from Red Panda, oh, a very wow. great place real. in South Burlington. Okay. Probably mm -hmm. the best curry I've had ever. What kind of ever. curry? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. What kind of curry they, are you going for? They have a couple <gasps> different options, um, but I'm a good classic red curry. Classic curry? <laughs> I like a red curry at home, too. I do, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Is yeah. it good? Yeah, yeah, I would say. Nice. Nice. I'm, cook? Yeah. Um, I love Jersey Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Jersey Mike's is probably my favorite place to eat. <laughs> um, I could have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> um, what else is good in Burlington? Oh. I work at Flatbread, so nice. if anyone wants to come in and get pizza, it's pretty good. I wouldn't go there probably if I wasn't working, yep. but for free pizza, it's pretty good. I used to work at Friendly Toast. Yeah. If you're in yeah. the mood for some day drinking, some morning drinking, yeah. some Bloody Mary. You know where to go. Yep. Um, lots good. of good flights, maybe. Iced coffee Ooh. flight, mimosa yeah. flight. I don't know why I'm giving them free advertisement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're not even paying you anymore. Nope, not anymore. Um, nope. <laughs> what's the work environment like there? Um, it was pretty good. Um, a little corporate y. Um, See that? Yeah. But. It was pretty good. The people there are really nice. I met my lovely boyfriend there. Um, but yeah, don't work there anymore. Not, not yeah. don't want to work there anymore, so. <laughs> it's real. I work at Nectar's. Food there is um, oh, yeah. OK, but it's not known for its food. I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we really only serve on Thursday nights for trivia. But if you want to come mm -hmm. test your knowledge at some trivia, then I also don't know why Thursdays? I'm giving them. <laughs> <laughs> Thursdays? <laughs> but Thursdays, trivia night, I'll be there mm -hmm. serving. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you guys work? Nowhere. I'm a student. So, that's my job. Yeah. <laughs> that's me right now. Yeah. All right. I, I'm trying to find a job. That's what I'm Wrap I this up. That was a great conversation, yes. guys. Flatbread is good. If you want pizza or beer, 
Um, there's all, a lot of good places in Burlington, though, yeah. too. Conclusion. There's, there's a lot yeah. of good spots to eat in Burlington. Yeah. Thank you. Come again. <laughs>